Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali A and today we're going to be discussing Call of Duty Ghosts and specifically sniping within multiplayer. I've got some information I want to talk to you guys about but the gameplay in the background is Black Ops 2 sniping actually taken from my Black Ops 2 Live episode 26 as I hit a live quad feed at the beginning. For those of you guys that haven't seen it, it'll be linked in the description. It now has over a million views and 100,000 likes which is absolutely mad so thank you very much to all of you guys that did watch that when it was first released and supported the video but I thought it'd be a very fitting gameplay for this video. So around about a week ago the whole community started talking about how sniping had changed within Ghosts because Mark Rubin, the executive producer at Infinity Ward, put out a statement on Twitter talking about how some of the sniper changes have been implemented into Ghosts. So reading from this statement he says, in re-envisioning sniper rifles some aspects such as sway timing have changed the way sniper rifles function and so traditional quick scoping has been affected. Is it completely gone? Maybe. It certainly won't be viable in the way it previously was. So the whole community and a lot of people just took that as face value and was like, okay, quick scoping is gone. It's no longer be possible uh, within multiplayer. I was hesitant, and this is why I haven't covered this piece of information quick. I wanted to get more information before I talked about it. I was hesitant as to whether or not quick scoping was actually gone or not because the way that a lot of the community referred to uh, saying such as quick scoping, reload cancelling, and all these little terms terms that we've made up can often be interpreted in slightly different ways by the guys that are actually working on the game. No disrespect to them or anything, but sometimes the way we see something can be a little bit different to the way they see something. And uh, I delved into the information a little bit deeper and found out that all of the gameplay and uh, the ghosts that I've been playing so far both at the multiplayer reveal in LA and then again at Gamescom in Germany, that has had the sniper changes implemented into that build. So the gameplay you've seen from Ghost, where people are sniping and where people are quick scoping, that has had the changes implemented. So you can still quick scope, but it's different and it's harder in several ways that I'm going to explain to you guys. So the first point is the crosshairs on the screen are no longer there when you're using a sniper within Call of Duty Ghosts. This affects two things, it means you have no reference on screen to help you with no scoping, or you no longer have the markers on screen to help you know where the centre of the screen is when you're not zoomed in with a sniper, so you need to zoom in to know exactly where you're going to be aiming. The next thing is the actual transitional period of going from a non-zoomed in position to a zoomed in position. Now traditionally within Call of Duty, as you zoom in the crosshairs get smaller so the likelihood of you hitting uh, directly in the centre of the screen increases but within Call of Duty Ghosts as you zoom in it's as if you're no scoping all the way to the point of being fully zoomed in so you need to be fully zoomed in. Once you're fully zoomed in, there's another change, you're not always going to end up directly in the center of the screen. As you zoom in, the very first frame which is in the zoomed in animation won't necessarily be directly in the center of the screen. It can be a little bit off to the right, to the left, upwards or downwards. You'll need to hold your breath, you need to center it and you'll need to adjust your aim. So that's what they mean in terms of the changes to quick scoping. It means if you're trying to zoom in and shoot the very first few frames of you being in that zoomed in animation, animation you will not always be in the center which means you're going to have to make adjustments to make sure that your aim is on target and that you're hitting at the enemy that you want to try and kill so it's going to be a little bit different some changes in there some could argue that quick scoping is gone because you can't necessarily zoom in and be dead center 100% of the time after zooming in you can be in the center sometimes but it won't be consistent but it's certainly possible to get a very quick shot off now an important piece of information to note is the fact that changes can still be made to ghosts and sniping before release and changes can still be made after the game is released. If any changes do happen on top of this, I'll let you guys know. Now what I want to know from you guys in the comment section is do you wish quickscoping was completely removed from Ghost or do you wish it was completely unchanged? Let me know in the comment section down below. It'll be interesting to see what you guys think. And of course, if you haven't seen the live version of this sniping gameplay, that'll be in the description as well, alongside some full Call of Duty Ghost multiplayer gameplay. Now the next thing we've got launching is GTA 5 in just a few days' time and we're doing some awesome videos on that for you guys so stay tuned for that and we're of course very close to ghost launch in just a few months time I'll be keeping you guys up to date as normal with all of the latest Call of Duty news so make sure you're subscribed for that if you haven't seen any of my recent videos on screen make sure you're checking them out and give your video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it I really really appreciate that but thank you very much for watching guys I hope you've enjoyed and I'll see you on my next video